dark and difficult times lie ahead. Soon we must all face the choice between what is right and what is easy. Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, rhinoceroses and carrots. Well, whatever you identify as. Uh, it's me, Pap, and uh, this is a quick update. Now, you probably, if you've been following me for a while, uh, you'll know that I put a, or I had a copyright strike put against me for a video that I made with regards to Police UK's YouTube channel. I subsequently had a copyright strike put against me, uh, which I defended. Took a, took a little while, but I defended it. And that went through YouTube and, and my defense went to the police. I spoke to the police in emails as well and they, they threatened me with uh, their legal team, basically. So, you know, we're, we're getting immediate action or whatever it was from our legal team or advice. The Police UK web, um, YouTube channel is part of the Sussex Police and the National Police Chief Council. When I put my counter notification in, the information for the channel owner was Sussex Police, NCP, uh, NPCC, National Police Chief Council. So I decided, uh, uh, in fact, I was asked by, so I think somebody mentioned it in one of the comments, and I, that I then subsequently decided that I would do a subject access request to find out whether or not the video was public property, so to speak. Uh, and a little bit of info about that video. So I wrote to the National Police Chief Council through the website What Do They Know, which is a website that allows you to do subject act, uh, is a website that allows you to do freedom of information requests. And so I wrote to the National Police Chief Council, and in my freedom of information request, I simply put, on the 2nd of May 2019, the Police.UK YouTube channel uploaded their first video content entitled, What the Police Do. Under freedom of information, I would like to know the following. Was the aforementioned video, or will any subsequent video content for the Police.UK YouTube channel be financed from public funds available to the police? If not, then please explain where the funds for social media projects come from. Question two, what was the total cost involved in creating the aforementioned video content for the Police.UK YouTube channel? Question three, why was the video content on the Police.UK YouTube channel withdrawn, seeing as it was a public information video? Number four, who is responsible for the withdrawal of the content? And will the funds used to create the content be refunded to whomever? The answer to question one turns out to be yours faithfully, me. I then had a response, a what day did I send that? So I sent that on the 9th. Four days later, I had a response saying, unfortunately, I'm unable to accept your request in its current format because I'm unable to determine which video it is you refer. Now, funny that, seeing as there was only one video uploaded and I gave them the date. So how they can't work out you know, what video it is from that information, I don't know. Uh, when conducting a search on YouTube, O2 May, what the police do, many results appear from different police stations nationally and internationally. Now, I've stated quite clearly on the Police UK YouTube channel. So, the, you know, this is one of the problems with the police and, and you know, and getting information out of them. They like to make things difficult. Um, but luckily, I'm quite tenacious. And, and you know, when I, when I aim to do something, I tend to put everything I've got into it. So I've conducted varying search requests, but I'm still unable to determine which video you refer. Therefore, I'm unable to identify the content of the material in order to establish which area of business to approach the information retrieved. It would be helpful if you could provide the link or detail the content of the video. So I've put here the video, so I replied same day. The video in question was as indicated in my initial request on the police.uk YouTube channel itself which can be found here as a link to their channel. The video has subsequently been removed, which I did state in my first freedom of information request to them. There has only been one video uploaded to the channel, so I assume that being the case, it wouldn't be too difficult to establish from police.uk, Sussex Police, which video I'm referring to. I also note that the MPCC appeared to be linked to Sussex Police and the police.uk's owners of that YouTube channel and therefore, therefore the owners of said video. Yours faithfully me. Then I received a response same day, which is quite unusual. The MPCC has no lawful obligation to retrieve information from another public authority in order to answer a freedom of information request. The MPCC does not own the YouTube platform to which you refer. 
Freedom of Information legislation applies to recorded information held by a public authority at the time of the request. As I have stated, I have conducted various searches and I am unable to determine a video to which you refer, nor the content or subject matter of the video. The MPCC is not a police force or investigatory body. My consideration for you may be to make a request with Sussex Police. On this occasion, I am unable to assist you. Now, as I said, when I done my copyright counter notification, it stated quite clearly that the owner of the channel, Sussex Police, NPCC. So this is a bullshit excuse here. So I just wrote back, I hear what you're saying, but I'm concerned as to why you're refusing to accept that this is your jurisdiction. The contact information for the channel owners as supplied by YouTube is National Police Chief Council, Sussex Police in brackets, in that exact format, which clearly leads me to believe that the NPCC is overseeing authority for this is the overseeing authority for this request. However, if you're refusing to accept that the NPCC is responsible, then I will, of course, contact Sussex Police. Let's hope they don't refuse responsibility and send me back to the NPCC. Yours faithfully. Then I received again on the same day, and this is really unusual for the police to, to bother doing anything on the same day, as you well know. To be very clear, I am stating that because the link isn't working, I have no idea what the footage contained in order to confirm whether the MPCC had any involvement. I have no idea of who to approach within the MPCC to even determine what it may be. Well, surely there's a department that deal with online, would deal with their, you know, their social media presence. So there's going to be a department. Do you know what I mean? The legislation affords the MPCC the right to refuse a request which isn't specific and doesn't describe the information that is being sought. This is the case in this instance. I've made many efforts this morning and this afternoon to try and assist you. I'm unable to determine whether the MPCC, Sussex or any other forces would hold the information that you are seeking. As you state, the message makes reference to Sussex. My only reasonable advice and assistance is to suggest you make a request with them. If you have more information as to the subject it relates or who uploaded the information to YouTube, if it was someone within the MPCC, I will of course try and locate it for you. At present, you have not provided enough information. If you're unhappy with my response and or efforts, you are very welcome to submit an internal review. So, refused. So what I decided to do was to go to Sussex Police. So I wrote to Sussex Police on the 2nd of May, exactly the same question as I asked the MPCC. I got a notification just saying that it had been received. This is just a standard notification saying that, you know, they have X amount of days to work with it, you know, to get me the information, etc. 12th of June, which was more than 20 days. Now, bear in mind, they have 20 business days to get the information to me unless it's a, a request that's asking for a lot of information i responded to them because i hadn't heard anything uh, my freedom of information request has yet to be fulfilled by law unless there is a valid reason for a delay and under the foi act 2000 you are obligated to respond within 20 working days my original request was acknowledged on the 13th of may making it 23 days now I'm yet to receive a response and I've had no valid request to extend the deadline from yourselves, which there should be no need for. As you know, failure to respond on time means that I can request the ICO to conduct a review of your handling of this request, yours faithfully. That was on the 12th of June. On the 19th of June, still nothing. So I wrote to them again. As you are aware, under the Freedom of Information Act, your main obligation is to respond to requests promptly within a time limit, acting as the longest time you can take. Under the Act, most public authorities may take up to 20 working days to respond, counting the first working day after the request is received as the first day. Working day means any day other than a Saturday or Sunday or public holiday or bank holidays. This may or may not be the same as the days that you are open for business or staff are in work. The time allowed for complying with a request starts when your organisation receives it, not when it reaches the Freedom of Information Officer or other relevant member of staff. Certain circumstances may allow you extra time. However, in all cases, you must give the requester a written response within the standard time limit for compliance. All of that is copied from the ICO website. So I know that that is factual and correct. My request was submitted and was acknowledged by Sussex Police on the 13th of the 5th. I sent you a reminder that my request had not been completed on the 12th of the 6th, which was 30 calendar days. It is now the 19th of June, meaning that you have had 37 calendar days to fulfill my Freedom of Information request. And I've had zero response from yourselves, including no request for extra time to compile the information. I'm therefore within my right to request an internal review of your handling of this request and make a complaint to the Information Commissioner about the handling of my request. Please take this email as a formal request for an internal review of the handling of my request. Here is a link to my original request. Requests, requests a lot. Sussex Police responded on the five days later. Thank you for your email. I'm currently on to our analyst to see what has happened and that there is a rush on this request. Regardless, 
I will keep you updated and aim to get this information to you as soon as possible. And then 24, three days later, I received this. I write in reference to your recent request for information regarding the following. YouTube channel uploaded their first video content entitled What the Police Do. Section 1 of the Freedom of Information Act 2000 places two duties on public authorities unless exemptions apply. The first duty at Section 11A is to confirm or deny whether the information specified within a record is held. The second duty at section 11B is to disclose the information that has been confirmed as being held. I can confirm that after inquiries the information specific to your request is not held by this force. However, we are aware that the video was funded by Digital Policing Portfolio and that the video was removed due to being hijacked by activists. Hijacked by activists. <laughs> It might be beneficial for you to direct your FOI request to the DPP. For ease of reference, your original request in full is attached to the email. Now, the problem is I have searched for the digital policing portfolio information and I can't find it. All the links to the DPP that I can find are attached to Sussex Police or the um, uh, National Police Chief Council. So someone somewhere is talking out of their ass or simply can't be bothered okay, um, to get me the information. Uh, as I say, I've looked, I mean, look, digital policing portfolio, contact, okay, takes me to the National Police Chief Council, National Police uh, Association of uh, Police and Crime. If I open this up, there is nothing here about contacting them. Nothing at all about contacting them, okay, apart from, if you want a job, go to Sussex Police. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Follow the portfolio on Twitter at UK Digital Poll, um, which I have messaged them. So this is a direct message to digital policing. And I've just put, I've been directed to yourselves by Sussex Police Data con Controller regarding a freedom of information request. The request was first sent to the MPCC, who denied responsibility for providing the information. And then again, the same response by Sussex Police, even though they seem to be under the same umbrella, as does the PP DPP. So I am trying uh, to contact someone with regards to the police.uk YouTube channel and a video that was uploaded. If I cannot get an answer from yourselves and after three failed attempts from the organisations that I've been told are responsible, then I shall have no, uh, then I shall have to make a complaint to the ICO and ask them to investigate this matter for me. Is there a way to contact you to send an FOI request? That was sent on the 28th. It is now the first three days, well, 28, 29, 30, 30, so three days ago. Three days ago that was sent, and I have not had a response. It's really taking a piss, to be quite honest, and I am not impressed with uh, the, 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 the slippery, slimy, shitty tactics that the police use because, I don't know, they don't want to give the information out, which must be the case. I mean, it's not, you know, it's not really sensitive information I'm asking for. But yet they're trying everything that they can to pass the buck and get nowhere. So I cannot find a contact number for digital, um, whatever they called it, the digital policing portfolio. So I am kind of stuck at the moment. I am stuck at the moment as to what to do and how to get in touch with somebody. So there's a request for you guys, if anybody, um, I don't know if any if there's anyone in Sussex, which would be great. If there's anyone in Sussex that can nip into the Sussex Police Station and ask them for digital policing portfolio contact information, I would be very very appreciative. Ideally, a phone number. Remember, you don't have to tell them why you need it. Okay, so if if you go in there and just say that um, I need the contact number for digital policing portfolio please and if they ask you why that's your that's your business it's got nothing to do with them between you and the DPP so um, if there's anybody out there that's near Sussex that can do that for me I would greatly appreciate that because at the moment they, they just don't want to deal with me um, it's really getting on my fucking nerves but yeah so I'm gonna leave it there again it's just an update as to what's been going on there um, I'm still waiting for a lot more FOI requests to be answered. Um, a lot of these I've had some answered, 
but most of them I'm still waiting for a response and that should be around between the 11th and 13th of this month should be the time I have all of my freedom of information requests. About them, I, I sent exactly the same FOI to every police force in the country, 43 of them. Uh, 43 police forces are sent the same freedom of information request. Once I've got them all, I'm going to pass, compile some information uh, and I'm going to share that with you. Uh, I also have another video coming out uh, with regards to uh, complaining to the police and the IOPC. But I'm not going to say too much about that at the moment because I'm waiting for a call back, uh, which I will be recording and adding one to the video that I've already started to make. So I'm gonna leave that there. Guys, thank you very much. Appreciate uh, appreciate your time for, you know, for watching the video. Um, don't forget there's information in the description. And uh, until next time. Good night all.